Greetings dedicated supporters of the Emerald, an ivory exciting developments are unfolding behind the scenes of our cherished team an investigative journalist has unleashed a shocking revelation, and I'm here to share it exclusively with you brace yourselves for this unexpected twist sending shockwaves through the Celtic community, but before diving into the bombshell I implore you to hit that like button ensuring daily updates on all things Celtic thank you, and let's get straight to the heart. Of the matter our esteemed leader commander Brendan Rogers finds himself under scrutiny once again. However the spotlight on Rogers isn't for the reasons one might anticipate the pressure mounts as Rangers secure a lead in the Premiership, yet what truly captivates attention are the choices made by the coach in the starting lineup Lee Muller, a former star from our rivals, suggests that Rogers might be putting himself in a precarious position by not fielding recent recruits from the outset. It's hard to overlook the fact that some newly acquired players are warming the bench since Rogers' return. The transfer market has become a touchy subject while players like L.S. Palmer Young and Paolo Bernardo have seamlessly integrated others like Gustav Lilka, Mike Noy Oden the go home Quan and Marco Tio have barely set foot on the field Quan and Tio have already been loaned out and Legab Balela only played due to an injury to Cameron Sykers Nicholas and Adam Ida despite arriving in January. I yet to leave a mark football pundits Muluk and Tam McManus share robust opinions on the matter McCulloch suggests that Rogers may be sending a message to the board expressing doubts about some recruits from the start. McManus agrees, stating that the new players don't match the standard set by our existing squad. Is Rogers taking unnecessary risks? Is he asserting himself or creating distance from the board? Ponder these decisions, especially in the midst of intense competition where every point holds significance. Share your thoughts in the comments below, as we continue supporting our team through thick and thin hail hail Celtic and remember.